Well, Miner's been given every opportunity to get to that 200 strikeout mark, and given where he is in terms of his pitch count. I don't think he would have the opportunity to come back out for the eight. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss and strikes him out. Number 199. <laughs> now another decision for Woody. But all we really care about is can this guy get one <laughs> well, strike out? 1-1. One, one. And this one popped in the air. First baseline. Guzman lets it drop. And it looked like that might have been on instruction. Oh boy. One and two the count. Now that, that is dangerous I think when you get to this point. You got to catch that. Well there are two strikes now and here's the one two delivery. Struck him out looking on the inside corner. Chris Woodward's already out of the dugout to come get Mike Miner after his 200th strikeout of the year. And popped up. And a play for Guzman in foul ground and it's going to drop. He told him to drop it. Yeah. Book it. They are pulling out all the stops yeah. to get him that 200 strikeout now. This is a 7-5 game. They're not playing a win here. They're playing to get their starting pitcher at 200 strikeout. Yeah, I don't think the fans realize that. And that's going to be in there for strike three. And now he's going to leave the game. So they want to give him an ovation. He winds up with nine strikeouts today, 200. Why not leave him in for a complete game then? You know, we had that fly ball here. I know the, the fans didn't understand, but we we're yelling, telling Guzzi to drop it because there's going to be two strikes. And then yeah, we, who ordered the code red? I started yelling at him. I don't. I think Trevi did too. But and then he didn't. I didn't think he. He didn't even look at us. And he had his glove like that. I thought it was going to fall in. And then he dropped it. And then he looked at me like, "What do you? What? Why?" And then uh, everybody started booing or whatever. And um, you know, I had to thank him for that because they didn't understand and kind of looked bad on him. But uh, you know, we ended up getting him. Uh, CB rang him up on probably a borderline pitch there, and then uh, we got the 200. So I didn't love the idea that we dropped a pop up at the end, um, but on the other side of that, they swung it three pitches in a row in the eighth inning, down by two. So if they have any beef with that, obviously I'm pretty sure Cora did. Um, they didn't. They chose to not try to win the game as well. They were trying to keep him from striking a guy out, which worked in our favor to winning the game eventually. So uh, I'm proud of Mike. He's He's been awesome all year, and to, to be able to go that many pitches and every inning he came back after the sixth, man, I was like, are you okay? Are you okay? Um, actually, after the fifth, I wanted to make sure because it's hot out there. Um, he even said right before he went out for the game, man, it's hot. This is before he even goes out, so and he goes 120-something pitches. It just it just shows you how hard that man worked in his offseason um, to be able to do what he did tonight or today. Um, it's awesome.